Okay, this video is going to serve a couple of purposes. Purpose number one is going to be trading is trading. There's a misconception that if you're trading gold or GJ or US 30 or cryptos or whatever, uh, that there's a huge difference in, in trading them. The difference is going to be in the amount of pips it gives out, so the speed of the pair, and then also at what times you trade it, right? What times you should expect movement, liquidity to be dumped into that pair. Also, the reactions of news. But this con this misconception of needing different indicators for different pairs and, you know, different strategies and different systems, it's a crock of shit. Everything runs on structure, on mechanics, and it, whether you're looking at GJ or you're looking at US30 or you're looking at GCAD or you're looking at EURUSD, it basically runs the same way. So... Learn to just trade what you see and get the other stuff out of your head and then you'll have an easier time. That's one purpose of the video. The other purpose is this idea that you always have to be in the, in every single pair. You always have to be in the market and that you, you're always trying to rush into these entries. Now, I'm going to show you an exaggerated version of what is commonly is happening to you right now without you even knowing it. Right now, as you're watching this video, you're missing out on a trade. If you're a scalper or somebody who's in that 15, 20 pip, 20 pip TP area, you are a thousand percent missing out on an opportunity right now. The idea that you're going to be in all these opportunities and get them all is impossible. But the thing with most beginner traders is that when they look, when they sit down at the computer, they're ready to enter no matter what. They don't want to miss out. When they look at the screen, whether that thing is set up or not, they're ready to enter. They don't want to miss out. Now let me show you. US 30, okay? US 30, I gave out this okay, video. So in this group, we don't talk about US 30, but. And in the video, I explained to them, look, I, I, the group, I don't talk about US 30. It's highly volatile and beginners, it's a slaughterhouse for beginners. So I really don't like talking about it with people in the group because there's a lot of beginners in there. But I broke it down for a buddy of mine and I told them what I was looking for and it was a sell. You can take a shot at the retest, you can take a shot at the creation of resistance under current support, or you can take the shot on the trend line. What I Basically gave them three options, and then I, de I dove a little deeper into what my option would have been, which is a retest of the high. And I broke it all down for him. The thing that was really important was this, the Fibonacci from high to low. Okay, I showed him some Fibonacci sequence, some trend line work, some oh, breaks. Buys and sells and jumps. All right, so... At that point, this is what we had, right? We had retested the high again and then already tanked, okay? A little bit, right to trend line. Remember this. This is where this chart was back on February the 14th. I knew it was bearish. I told everybody it was bearish. People in the group took the trade to be bearish, right? So here it is. If I go to the group, you have this gentleman right here that's up. A whole lot of pips, okay? A whole lot of change, all right? Five, we're talking five figures, all right, on this US 30 sell-off. Now, let's go to US 30. Now, I want to point this out one more time. You, no matter what, no matter what, you're going to be missing out on opportunities. And I saw this, and I broke it down for someone else, and I didn't take the trade. I, I was busy on other pairs. If you've been following for the month of February, Euro NZD, Something like 1,600 pips on Euro NZD. And, and two of those big trades were posted on my YouTube for free, and I broke that down for you. All right? And then uh, then we have gold, 500 pips on a sell. GJ, multiple 100 pip trades. GCAD, multiple 100 pip trades. This month was like somewhere in the ballpark of 3,800 to 4,100 pips for my pairs alone, not including Jonathan. So this month was insane because of everything that's happening in the economy. So we were able to profit out of that. But this is what US 30 provided for this person. Okay, right here, bang. All right, now let's go look at it. This is US 30, look at it. All right, we're gonna have to go to a lower frame because I can't see anything here. All right, we're gonna bring this to center. All right, we're going to swing this over. Look at it. This is the markup, right? That's the retest of the high. That's that trend line, right? This is the break, all right? And then we false broke that H4. This is a little crazy to bring to screen. I'm trying here. All right, so 
We, we broke that trend line. We came roaring back. There was gaps in this market. This thing got insane. The biggest part of this was the break of that trend line, the clean break of that trend line. That happened, and then it created that high. This is no different than what you would do on a, whoops, on a GJ or a GCAT or a gold or anything, right? Breaks trend line, the retest, the firm high on an H4, multiple, multiple resistance closes, and then this thing just melts. It just melts, and that we don't control. Now, here's the third topic that I want to bring up. When the market moves like this, it has nothing to do with you or me. It has everything to do with what's going on in the world, okay, in the economy. So you can't control how fast something moves. All you can control is your directional bias, where you're getting in from, and how you profit through that, or, or if you lose, how you lose through that. But we're, we're talking profits right now because we were bearish, right? How are you going to get from point A to point B? You need to know that when you enter the market. You can't just enter to hope that it goes into profit. When are you going to TP it? When are you going to partial it down? When are you going to manage that profit? All right, where are you looking to enter? So the moment this thing created a high, that's it. This is the place of entry because of the break of the trend line. This whole thing was given out and understood beforehand. Okay, the critical areas that need to be paid attention to as this thing developed. I saw this coming from a mile away. Now, what I didn't see coming was this, right? A normal movement, maybe to test that, that support level. That made sense. This, this is insanity. But I just wanted to throw this at you so that you can see that structure fall. No matter how crazy something is, structure is going to be found in that market. And also, no matter what you do, you're always going to be missing moves. And if you want to, if you want to feel better about missing moves, look at the move that I just missed. Do you see me crying? No. Everything, it is what it is. We move on. You make sure you focus on what you have to focus on. Do not worry about the move that you're missing because at least you didn't miss that. And on that note, happy trading.